What's up you awesome people? Welcome back to another video. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I've done some handstands, so I thought I'd practice uh, the old one-handed. Ah, uh, yeah. S still got it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Just, well, so, I can't do a handstand, but, but I have a good friend who can, and I want to introduce you to him. So let's go. All right, Wilder is a world-class handstand artist. And primarily working with his brother, they have been performing basically since they were four years old. So we're gonna go check in with him, see if he can teach us how to do the perfect handstand. <laughs> go and do your handstand. Show to the camera. <laughs> now it's Cameron, uh, first handstand. Push your body up first. Okay. Nice. So right now, Wilder is teaching Cameron and Tatum. They do Skype handstand lessons with him because he used to teach them handstands while they were in Japan, but now that they're back in San Diego, he's teaching them through video chat, which is amazing because the girls are still able to progress, they're still doing awesome, and it's still good for uh, Wilder to be able to keep in touch with them so he can share his knowledge and his expertise. When you close your legs, you don't squeeze your hands because when you close, you're moving a lot. How are your students doing, Wilder? When Cameron left, she don't know how to try one hand. That's awesome. <laughs> don't relax. 29, 30. Open your legs slowly. Then go down. Nice. You stay. That is good. Now relax, okay? Wilder, will you teach us how to do a handstand? Of course. Oh my god. I've never <laughs> done a one handed handstand. I can barely stand on my feet. Yeah, <laughs> I know. All, All right, we'll meet you inside the tent. Okay, one, two. And here we are with Wilder. So Wilder, we're gonna ask you a few questions about how to do the perfect handstand. And since you're one of the best in the world, we figured maybe you can give us some tips. So what do we need to learn first? What are the steps? What are some easy tricks that I can learn to learn how to do a cool handstand first, like you? First, you have to be flexible. Hold on. So you're saying, I'll never, I can't do a handstand. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> it's okay. early in the morning, we don't want to wake up everybody in the circus. Can I flex my toes like that? Yeah, if you can. Oh. Ah, you got it. <laughs> I can do a handstand, all right. Also, you have to do exercise. Because if you don't got power, you can't do handstand. I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Step two, check. Step two. Okay, okay. <laughs> the technique is so important. First, when you do the handstand, open your legs a little bit, and you put your hands right in front of your legs. You go forward, and then you put your butt up. Lift your butt up. And then, you can close your legs. You can split. <laughs> no, you're talking about, this is a press handstand. Yeah. Now, this, this isn't is the easiest one, yeah. right? So, what is the easiest way okay. for us to learn? You can just go here and go to the other person. The other person can touch you. Don't let your body go down, and don't let your hands bend. Okay. You just pull your body up and squeeze all your body. And if you are on the wall, just go to the wall and just try to separate a little bit and try to hold your body. Is it better with your stomach to the wall or? No, no, it's better the back. The yeah. back? The back, okay. I'm a wall. Ready? You can do this to the wall. And then you're gonna start lift like. One leg at a time. Yeah, like this. And what are you doing with your hands? Oh, actually, my fingers hold my body. Okay. Because, for example, when I go forward, you see my fingers acting like a, like a support. Then also the hands have, have to be um, in the line with the shoulders. That is the perfect position for the hands. And when you put forward, try to don't put your head down. That is important too. Okay. Then the next step, after do that, you can start putting your butt up. Okay. The technique of this uh, handstand is the butt. Ah. If your body is not up, if you try to pull your legs first then your butt, you can't do handstand. And then when you go down, you put your legs down and then your butt. <laughs> and always keep your body tight. Right. Always when you go forward, you have to squeeze all your muscles. It's like So you want to be tight, not <laughs> tense. Yeah. <laughs> So now we've learned the first few steps of how to get warmed up, how to get in the basic handstand position. Now, I see in the show you handstand with your brother, mm. and you also do handstands on his head without without even using his hands. What is more difficult? It's different technique. For some people, 
when they do in the canes, it's more easy because they can grab it. Ah. And they feel more like secure. It. But in the hands, you feel it. Ah, okay. You see? And also the partner, they have to control you. What you hear is so much difficult because here the hands really move a lot. And if the bass is not strong, you really fear. So like, it's much more difficult with a partner because you both have to know what you're doing. Yeah. So then while we're talking about while we're talking about advanced level handstands, how do you go to the one-handed handstand? Where does that fall in the progression and when is it a good time to start learning that? Okay, the good time for start learning that is when you already got the handstand. <laughs> like and you can really remember that. <laughs> do a handstand before you do a one-handed handstand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you're alone, you can start doing like this. You already have it. You can start charging your body and lift your hand a little bit. Just put your fingers like this. And try to don't make pressure on this hand, just here. When you already got it, like you already don't feel pressure, you can start straight your hand here. Also, it's so important you don't twist your body or start moving up and down. Aye. You can do this, or you can go down or back. It's <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of the tricks that they do in the act that amazed me, I'd never seen it before in any other act, is Wilder does a backhand spring into his brother's hands and they catch him and then put presses into a handstand so that's a little bit of insight little bit of tips and stuff how to do a handstand how to do one hand handstand you got all of it you got all of it right there <laughs> he's one of the best in the world i've ever seen i'm gonna put a link to his instagram down below in the description guys check out his stuff he's amazing one of the best handstand duos i've ever seen and i'm not just saying that because he's right here with me they're really the best really one of the best <laughs> So, guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, just leave a comment. Subscribe, guys. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about doing handstands. I'll be sure to pass yeah. them along to Wilder. He loves coaching. You saw a little clip of him teaching Cameron and Tatum. Yeah, check him out and go be awesome. Be awesome. Be awesome.